there, cats and kittens. My name is Salty Tabby, and uh, we got a new, another new game. Uh, tonight we're going to be playing Night in the Woods. Uh, so I, I, I have played a little bit of this game before, but I remember like nothing. Like quite literally, I remember the main character and like a friend of hers, and that's it. That's all I remember. I remember literally nothing else about the game. Like, I don't remember what it's about, what the actual gameplay is. Nada. Not even a little bit. So, uh, it should be interesting to jump into. So, uh, yeah. Let's get started. The, the year Granddad died. Okay, see? We had the worst flood since 1998. Greg got trapped on top of a doghouse. The power was out for two days. Casey Hartley came by in his dad's boat, and I laughed when I saw him. Granddad left me an apple crate of books. He loved ghost stories and quoted them to himself in the hospital bed. They went looking for the gods, and died in lonely places. That's ominous. On his last day, he sat up suddenly, started bu and stared bug-eyed through the window at the old empty mill. Windows half busted out. He turned to my dad, eyes still wide. This house is haunted, he said, and died. What the heck? What the heck? I don't remember this being a scary game. Oh, there we go. We're, we're a little black kitty. Well, this is great. I mean, I didn't expect a party or anything, but I figured someone would be here. Welcome home, May. Yeah, look at us. We're a kitty cat. Can we jump? We can jump. Oh, well, how do we... Wow. When did they put this up? Possum Springs has never looked more... falsely advertised. <laughs> Birdman over there. Welcome back to Garbo and Malloy. What's the news today, Malloy? Markets were up today. Way up. I'm looking at the chart and it's pretty impressive. The economy added 15,000 jobs. Mostly in the chart sector. Which is notoriously recession proof. <laughs> my, my, Garbo, we got all a little politic, political here. Political here. Gotta get political every now and then. I went on one of those. Oh, it's supposed to be a. One of those internet dates this weekend. Oh? Yeah, the internet is a truly giving lover. Is this supposed to be funny? It's not funny. Okay. It must be such a relief to payphone companies that Possum Springs gets zero cell reception. It'd be cool to call my parents, but some jerk hole took the time to actually rip it off. Who steals a phone? An old phone at that. Fiasco Fox, you are too dreamy. Likes foxes, does she? Reminds me of another little girl we played recently. <laughs> what is with girls and foxes, man? If I had been a fox instead of a cat, would that have been more appealing? <laughs> Excuse me, but where is everybody? It's 1045. It's closed. Not a lot of folks get off the last bus to Possum Springs these days. Just you. Isn't there supposed to be someone at the desk? Or are you the janitor or something? Oh. 
We get options. Closed. Why are the lights on? Why is the TV on? I get spooked when I'm in here by my lonesome. Oh. Can I... Can I leave? He won't let me leave. Can I squeeze past you? Nope. Just broke the damn thing. When do you think it might be done? Alright, after you go grab me a fias cola from the machine. Am I paying for this? I always rig it right. I always rig it when I'm here after hours. Nice. Free isn't free. Free isn't no one's here to say otherwise. Neat. Let's go get a fiasco cola. What the? We have lime fiasco and he wants a fiasco cola? That's just a waste. That's like vanilla coke, and they just want a regular coke. Oh, why? Okay, just gotta grab it. Grab. Ooh. We have it! <laughs> we gotta grab it! Alright. Let's go give him his cola. One free... free-ass cola! Oh. Sir, that can't be healthy. Yummers. What are you doing here? I live here. Well, lived here. Huh, strange. When do you think that door's gonna be finished? No. Goodbye. Why did he say strange? Uh, bye? Why did he say it's strange that we live here? Well, I'm right outside town. Mom and Dad nowhere to be found. Dark and cold. Guess I'm walking. Alone. That's not good. Uh, uh, I think this is a girl cat. She's just a little, you know... Look at all the little fireflies! That's so cute! Just a little dangerous to be walking alone at night like that. You gotta be careful out there, everybody. This bus station is maybe the newest thing in Possum Spring. Guess they got state funding or something. Makes a good first or last impression, I suppose. If not for the abandoned glass factory back there. Not getting rid of that anytime soon. We need more? Oh. Wow. Didn't realize how much I missed the sound of that train. I used to hear it in my bed at night, during the winter when the leaves were down. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. We're just collecting fireflies! Well, I guess I'm gonna hike through the woods. Through the woods is home. My bed. And my negligent parents. Jeez, girl. Look, they're still with us! The fireflies stay! Oh no, come back! Oh, come back! Well... Eh. Eh. No. This can't be safe. Oh, oh! Goodness gracious. Ugh, this is some dank nature. Dank nature and garbage. Yeah, no kidding. Are these donkey shopping carts? That's all the way across town. That's dedication. Can we get on it? Nope. Eh. Do we have to go through the water? Eh. There used to be an old sawmill around here, I think. I mean, the park there is called the Sawmill Park. Looks like they lost a log load at some point. Uh, gonna have to climb this, I guess. This is dangerous, ma'am. Like, this is all quite dangerous. Shopping bags are like little ghosts of grocery stores. Haunting everywhere else. Yeah. Oh wow, I heard a toad. And a ghost owl. I bet there are any number of potential witch familiars down here. That's fair. 
we might be one of those because we are a black cat after all. How do I? Oh. I don't like this. How do I get up? <sighs> nope. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to jump? That just seems dangerous. Oh, no. no, 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 no. Okay, how do I get down? Okay. So there's no way to jump across, like, over here. Do we have to break it? I don't know, this just seems really dangerous. Right. Yep. Oh god. How are we not dead? Are we okay? Oh my god. That was dangerous. I could have died. That was amazing. May, get up. I am not going to die in this hole. No, we are not. That was the only thing it would let me do! Goodness gracious. Negligent parents, no kidding. Look at what they're letting us do. They didn't come to get us at all. Merp? RT. Huh. Interesting. Wow, I haven't been here in maybe ten years. Apparently, no one else has. sound might be too low. I had to turn it down when I was at the intro area at the beginning because it was really loud, but now it's kind of quiet. I'm going to turn it up. There we go. Probably better? Well, maybe it's not too loud. Oh, I feel like the music's loud. Right about there? Probably good right about there. Alright. I don't know what they were going for here. Some sort of boat castle? Most of it's gone now. Just a thing for weird animals to eat and have babies in. I what kind of weird animals have babies in there? Dirt possums? Night snakes? Mystery beasts of all shapes? I remember Kathy, D'Amico's boyfriend, took her here. Make out and then break up. And the next day, Kathy pulled out Cindy Clark's nose ring at the Fort Lucene Mall. This entire area is so full of romance. Is that what it is? Hey, you can still see Mr. Snorkels on this. Oh, the... I'm assuming that's the octopus. Oh yeah, there's a lot of, like, names carved in. GVP Zam Gares? Interesting. I want to jump on it, but it won't let me. Ah! Ahoy! <laughs> I definitely remember barely reaching this top of this wheel. I definitely remember barely growing since then. It looks like the ladder's gone. If I could just get to the top of this thing. Ugh. I could never make it onto that tree when I was a kid. Number, the number logs mocked me. <laughs> logs and the other kids. Oh, let me see if I can visualize this. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I can't stop running while I do this. Not even for a second. Got to have enough momentum. I think I can do it. Run and jump, jump, jump. Yeah, we did it! <laughs> it's only been two years since I lived here. Not in this playground. Awesome springs, I mean. It's all getting jumbled. I should write it down. Oh. Rip Granddad. Your parents forgot you. Oh, what? Why did it do that? That's strange. Okay. Granddad, yeah. Well, what do I do now? How do I... Okay, I have to click the exit button. Is there like a... 
Oh, that's dangerous. This cannot be safe. Uh... Oh. Hello, mate. Been a while. Hey, what are you doing out here? Nothing better to do? I was out here doing my rounds, and I saw you in the very off-limits playground. So? Get in the car, May. No. You want to spend the, your first night back in jail, May? No. Looks like they're related. Hey, remember me? Ugh! May, you gave me a heart attack! Good! What are you doing? Oh... May, honey, we thought you were coming home tomorrow night! You thought wrong! How did you get here? I walked until I got arrested by Aunt Malkoff. Oh, it was a lady. Oh, did you say hi to Molly for me? No? I say hi to no for- I say hi for no one. Ask the cops. I'm going to bed. Is my bed still there? Or are we waiting for tomorrow night for that too? Ah, uh, May. So good to hear that voice again. Good night! There's a lot of cat-related things in the house too. Bless this mess. Mm. Oh. Look, the little one in the middle is us. Uh, she looks not happy about being pregnant in that, that picture right there. <laughs> Interesting. Oh. My. Hey, our room's still here. Which dagger? I don't know what the rest of it is. Oh, which dagger? Yeah, which dagger? Sacred Yugs. Interesting. It's news time. Guitar. It's morning! We are a reckless girl. This girl. Am I supposed to do something? Oh, I guess I was. Eh, eh, shoe. Alright, got shoes. Guitar. Could play some bass, but which song? Space dragon. Wanderer in space. Nomad of forbidden play. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh god. Oh no no no. I am really bad at these. Ah! See, I am not ready. Stop! Stop! Why? suck at this terribly. Okay, hold on. We have to... Hold on. Hold on. I figured it out. It was horrible at the beginning. I had to put both paws 
I have to put one paw on one and two, and the other paw on three and four. Otherwise, I can't do this! Ah, I have two left paws. Oh, no, still? Still going. But I got this now. Whew. Oops, never mind. Wrong buttons. I'm awful at anything that's like, hey, you have to press the button with the correct timing. I'm like, no! I literally do not know this song. <laughs> yeah, that, we're not doing that again. Nope. Absolutely not. Let's get out of here. Oh, we can look at these now. I was so cute then. We were all so cute then. Cuties, a lot of us. We could have traveled- we could have had a traveling show. The Cutie Borowskis. There are a few things hanging around it. There are a few things hanging around in here from the old country. This clock, the trunk in the storage room, and whatever is buried under the house after the cement incident? Oh dear. This goes off randomly every month or so. Little wooden ducks pop out make this weird sound. Scares dad half to death every time. He used to joke that it was granddad getting even with him from beyond the grave. Well. No wait, I want to see the bird. Eh. Bird. How is this bird still alive? Birds live for a long time, man. Some of them can live longer than people. Or as long as people. It was pretty great when granddad gave me that apple crate of old scary stories. Not sure how they even ended up out here. Death comes to Wigglesbury. Fancy corpse. Hell's Mole Steph Stevenson. Necropus. Book of the First. Lady Shark. Bestowed on Gallows Hill. <laughs> Mom has all of her girly girlsy books about creepy crimes and sad children. What? On a creepy sad shelf in their room. Oh, looks like one of Mom's books made it out here. We even ate, hor ate the horses. One family's horrifying farm life in the 1880s. Jeez, Mom. Goodness. Hey, look, some of Dad's books got in here. Finches of North America. World of Titmice. Titmice. The Complete Grackle. A th grackle? A three volume set. Owls are owlsome. <laughs> Treacherous cranes. Hell is a grackle. That's what I wanted to know. I'm assuming it's some kind of bird. Based on the information given, can we go in here? Oh. Ugh. Since when is the crawl space up? All this jammed up. I wonder if Dad could move them. Yeah, Dad put them here, I bet. Dad should move him. It's only fair. Alright, I see what you're saying. Can we go back further this way? Nope. Okay. Downstairs. Honey? Yeah? Come see me in the kitchen before you leave. Okay. Eh. Hi, Mom. Welcome home, sweetie. Thanks for not changing the locks. Sorry, we mixed up the day you were coming back. It 
was such a short it was such short short notice. It's okay, Mom. May honey? Yeah? Is everything okay? What do you mean? Why wouldn't it be? I don't wanna fight. No. What do you mean? Honey, did something happen? I just needed to come home. Well, sweetie, I think you can understand my worry. It's not usually something a college sophomore just up and does. I know. Honey, you can tell me if something happened. Mom, I'm fine, really. We can talk about... Can we talk about this another time? Sure, honey, it's okay. Thanks, Mom. I bet your old friends will be happy to see you. You wouldn't happen to know where Greg is, would you? Oh, yeah, Greg's working down at the Snack Falcon. Up in town center, but west... Up in town center west by the click-clack. Click-clack. You have a Snack Falcon now? I think I'll run over and say hey. Well, have a good time out there. Watch to explore, see what's changed. I will. Just watch out for the uh, for all the construction. Well, it wouldn't be Fall Possum Springs without loads of construction. It's so festive, honey. I'll be back later. Bye, sweetie. We got home, spent two seconds with our mom and dad, and then leave. Part one, home again. Kill, kill, kill. Ooh, children. FBI, free! There's a squirrel! Slow. Well, sure is fall. All the road work crammed in before winter. Makes, like, half town inaccessible. Unless you want to walk the long way around. For, like, 20 minutes. Which, I mean, no. I see. It's their way of being like, hey, you can't go here yet. Because there's road work. Hello. Hey, Mr. Twigmire. May? Is that you? Sure is. You home for a visit? Nope. I'm home for good. What? They're not having college anymore? <laughs> so if it burned down, or not for me at least. Um. It's really funny. <laughs> do we want to be sassy or do we want to be honest? Let's, uh... Nope, it burned down. Well, I'm sure you burned it down. All these these allegations, Mr. Tig Tigmi Twigmire. I ain't alligating. Just trying not to burn my lawn down, you firebug. No promises. <laughs> I can't tell how serious they are based on the uh, animal faces, I guess. Like, I mean, mine is expressive. Hello. Selmers. What are you doing home? Dropped out. Wow. Yeah, I guess. So, like, you just don't go back? That's about it. Weird. So, how have you been? Okay. Me and Dennis split. Oh, no. Yeah, he got a job at the new prison over in Brindle. He just met some gal at a gas station. Wow, what a jerk. Eh. He's a free agent. I guess. What's that word they use for, like, a weapon you make in jail? Like a knife. A shiv? Yeah, a shiv. <laughs> I hope Dennis gets shivved at work. <laughs> Just to scare him. Scare him good. That'd do it. Scare him right, to the, right in the kidney. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, I gotta go. Nice seeing you. Stop by any time. Dang, girl. She's straight up not happy about that. Hello. Hello. What you doing on my porch? Chatting? Hello. Hey, Mr. Ch Chazavok. Chazakov? Chazakov. Hello, May. My best worst student. Haha, uh -huh, yeah. Like the constellations, hated school. Hey, don't knock school. School is vital for your future. What are you doing back in Possum Springs? Dropping out of school? <laughs> Oh. Well, if you're still interested in constellations, come by my roof later, hi hill later. Wait, come by my roof down the hill later this week. Should have my new telescope up by down. Ooh. Sure thing. Stars. 
Fair enough. Kitty. There's a kitty there. And a bird. Eh, bird. I spooked it. I spooked it. The apple bomb. Apple bomb? The apple bomb. I remember when Bay's family had a house and not a tiny depressing apartment. Oh. Can't talk to that person going by. Children's! Can I talk to the children's? Hello, small ones. Hey, it's the Harleys. What are you doing? Little Joe, you're under arrest. Oh, wow. Kids still talk, still talk about little Joe. We used your DNA. Ghosts don't have DNA. Yeah, ghosts don't have DNA. Hey, lady, can you leave us alone? Yeah, leave us alone, lady. Lady! You're not a kid anymore, girl. You went to college. You are an adult. Danny, right? Yep. I think you were a senior when I was a freshman. Probably. How's it going? Just lost my job. Oh, no. They say construction's always hiring. But it's not. In fact, it's often laying off guys named Dan. What are you gonna do? I'm open to suggestions. Don't give up. I'm sure someone in town is hiring. I've been out of work for a year before. This time I only lasted six months before being laid off. You know what that does to a resume? Not really. I have a zombie resume. It's dead, but somehow it's still going all over the place. Oh. Well, hang in there, man, I guess. Can we talk some more? I don't have a job either. Oh man, sorry to talk your ear off about it. How are you holding up? Good, just dropped out of college and I'm living with my parents. Oh, so you're basically a teenager again. No, I'm just an adult living with her parents. Oh, okay, so it's not like you're unemployed. It's like you're lacking a daytime hobby that pays money for you, the money you need, don't need for rent. All right, I'm gonna get going, yeah. <laughs> that was, uh, spicy. Alright. I think we can. Let me see. Can I actually save the game? Oh, there it is. There's the save game. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Oh, mom, dad looks older. Dad looks older. Oh. I'm in the town so far. I think that's where we're going to end for today. I still, I'm honestly not entirely sure what this game is. It seems like there's going to be uh, a lot of chit-chatting with people, a lot of looking at things, a lot of jumping around, and possibly doing dangerous stuff like we did earlier, which I don't know about, but, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see. Yeah, um, let's see. Ooh, music went out. Uh, today's cat tip of the day is... We've talked before about how uh, cats have different personalities, but they also have different fears. Some cats might be afraid of water, some might be afraid of dogs, some might be afraid of stormy weather or loud noises or lots of people. And how they respond to those fears is different too. Some cats might go hide and some might want to cuddle up in your lap and feel safe there. Uh, you know, each one has different ways to comfort themselves. If you keep an eye on your cat, you might be able to notice what your cat's afraid of and how they best respond to it. But yeah, keep an eye on your kitty, and uh, maybe you can help. Sometimes they just want to be left alone, but other times they might need a few pets to calm down and feel better. Yeah. That's going to be it for today. I hope you cats and kittens have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye! <laughs>